Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is day 13 of my break. Understand now, I am perfectly fine. I'm great. My hand is... Well, my hand. Because the other hand's holding my phone, because I wanted to give a little update. So first off, big one, I got a new TV. I have finally upgraded to the smart TV era. I am currently paused on Danger 5 on Tubi. Tubi also happens to have... Uh, the Spike parody of the Japanese game show, MP MXP, I think it was, or uh, something along those lines. But either way, though, I am still gaming on my little PC. My PC is now 64 gigabytes. Um, what else? What else before I get to the thing? Um, got my Rebecca Tumblr still. Enjoying that very much. I even got some new sunglasses that uh, I'll probably use as a thumbnail for this video. But no, that's not what I'm talking about. No, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm talking about is something that came in from Tony who said, Hey, here's one of the other guns for October. And he couldn't let me just deal with Springers. To be exact, three Springers. A 1911, a Sig Sar, and pink, and a pump-action slug gun from UK Arms. No, 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 no. Instead, Tony decides he wants to further torture yours truly by sending this in. The coveted D96. This is not worthy of the nice. This is never worthy of the nice. This is the only, I don't even know what to call it, a cartoon version of an M1 carbine. It's... I, I don't even know what this box art, like seriously, this box art is way too good for this. This is way too good for this. And they have the shame to use the cyber gun type font for the information. At least they're honest about this. Frickin' .12 gram BBs, Jesus Christ. Guys from Sector 9, can I run this with .12s? Or at least see if we can corroborate this claim? Because, again, that's definitely something I want to check out. Also, it only has 115 BBs in a magazine, which means that, thank God, they're, they're available on Amazon, if they're still available on Amazon, because I'm probably going to have to pick up more of these stupid things on Amazon if these are only, like, the one magazine. But here's the thing. This is not the worst of it. Especially that. We're going... This is going to be the bane of my existence. I can already tell. <sighs> no, it's the other thing that kind of upsets me a little bit is the fact that this thing is an electric gun. No, it's, 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 it's that. It's this. Not only that, but here's the frickin' hop-up. This, no joke, for some friggin' reason, actually works. Like, instinctively, my fingers have want to go there. Instinctively, they actually fit there. Instinctive. It's not uncomfortable. It's weird. It's weird. Also, that's supposed to be part of the charging handle, and they didn't even have the gall to paint it metallic gray. I'm too freaking lazy and don't give a hell, and just do not give a hoot to paint it the correct color, so I'm not even going to do anything. But again, this, this right here, this confuses me. That is understandable. That confuses the ever-loving bejesus out of me. This, this is just AK logic. Like, seriously, first click, uh, the, the safe, first click, auto, back, final click, semi, like, that's just AK logic. Why not use American logic, where it's just like, first click, semi, final click, auto, like, but, but, what? 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 <sighs> oh, yeah, and then, of course, that. This, even though that is technically a sling area where you put the sling in and you go all the way to the thing that is currently down this way instead of being on its freaking side. <sighs> I'm on my freaking break, Tony. Why did you send me this? Because now, now I'm going to be doing anything and everything I can in October just to go over this freaking thing. I, I... <sighs> That is a lie. It is a lie. Cause Well makes this gun. Not you. <sighs> Let me know in the comment section down below what you think about this and if we should have any more like proper M1 carbine AEGs in there, soft. I'm going back to my break.